And first, community members meet with Chief C.J. Davis and other law enforcement professionals for a community crime forum aimed at keeping us and our kids safe. Our Jay Shakur was there and shares the biggest takeaways. Jay? And every community should be at the table. Yeah. So when we're bringing solutions to the community and we have not even talked to the people, it ain't going to work. <laughs> Hundreds gathering at New Salem Missionary Baptist Church to listen to city and state leaders. We're trying to get to ideas. We can't continue to just to stay silent. Attendees hoping the conversation moderated by leaders of the Memphis Crime Commission would lead to solutions that will quell the constant crime and violence committed by minors and young adults in Shelby County. I'm, I'm very concerned about this, uh, what's going on in the city of Memphis lately with our young people. Panelists included representatives from youth villages, the Tennessee Department of Children's Services, Shelby County Juvenile Court Judge Tariq Sugarman, and Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis. Community members are there every day with our young people. They see what's going on. And what we want to do is continue to build and foster trust so that we can build a relationship where we're solving problems and crimes together. According to MPD, in 2022, there were over 2,000 criminal suspects that were under the age of 18. Car thefts are one of the more frequent crimes in Memphis, with 2022 seeing 10,000 vehicles stolen or vandalized its solution, one attendee says, starts at home. What happens when a young person returns home and nothing has changed in their family environment, in their ecology where they grow up? It's that question that Memphis Allies SWITCH program is working to answer. SWITCH, support with the intention to create hope, provides on-call 24-7 therapists and life coaches five to seven days a week, up to a year. The goal? shift youth perspectives and address mental health issues, creating a healthy balance between law enforcement prevention and intervention. What are we doing if we're not taking charge of our community by ourselves? Man, this is a home issue. So how are we gonna look on the outside without solidifying what's going on the inside? Now the issue of repeat juvenile offenders is a big issue, as many of the repeat crimes last year, like car thefts and smash and grabs, are being committed by minors. When asked about the exact number of repeat juvenile offenders, the police chief noted keeping track of that information is fairly new, saying the juvenile repeat offender piece is something we just started looking at.